Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Can we talk with Monique? I am Monique. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's get right into it, guys. I haven't had an upload or made an upload in a really long time, um, but I've been here on these YouTube streets. I do have another YouTube channel and um, and um, I've been doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes as far as um, supporting those uh, who are are uh, survivors of, of narcissistic uh, abuse and uh, domestic violence. And as we all know, guys, um, every uh, narcissist, every uh, person who's an abuser is not a narcissist, but definitely every narcissist is definitely an abuser. And so this is domestic violence file on Sheena Wiggins. And unfortunately, guys, I just had to get back into uploading videos because as this world, um, and I am definitely a believer, so I'm here to let you guys know that as this world gets darker and darker, we see an increase in lawlessness. But I definitely see, an, um, and people have a no natural affection, children not having natural affection. Oh, I'm sorry for that. Um, children not having natural affection for their parents, parents not having natural affection for their children, um, husbands not having natural affection for their wives and vice versa right and um and lawlessness is definitely increasing and so um i wanted to start back doing videos so that way people can be aware um not to just fall asleep not to think that things are um getting any better but to see that things are getting worse and that's why we all need to keep our head on swivel um men and women in relationships that are abusive we all need to keep our head on swivel i do not like to report on these stories but they are just so rampant um and they're rampant all over the place but especially in the african-american the black community it is definitely rampant guys and this is a domestic file on she Sheena Wiggins okay this took place um, and this is from the gun memorial right um, and one why I did this story is this is here in the state of Georgia I am in the state of Georgia right this occurred February 7th in Dublin Georgia right and this is what she this is she, Sheena Wiggins. This is um, the photo sources are from Facebook. And let me just say that this is for fair use education, teaching and commentary. Um, and so this is what she this is one of the pictures of Sheena Wiggins. This is another picture of her. And she has such a beautiful smile. Look at those beautiful teeth, beautiful woman. And this is another picture of her here, too. OK, so she's in Dublin, Georgia. And um she was uh, murdered on February the 7th by her husband. Um, and so let's just go to, let me see. Uh Oh, let me see. Let's see. And let's skip this. Um, I'm going to try to skip this. Um, sometimes you got to uh, go through the ads and see, and they want these ads to play. So let's let this ad play and let's see what happens here. So give, forgive me for that. So let's skip the ad and let's go to the, here we go. Says Sunoco Wiggins took his own life. I hopped it up to the 16 year old. 
none of his, you know, he lost his mother last night, and uh, he's got to live with that, and, uh, and her family also. The sheriff's office says the teen was taken to Fairview Park Hospital and is now recovering in Macon. He is expected to make a full recovery. In Lawrence County, Anthony Montalto, 13 WMAZ News. China Wiggins was a paraprofessional and a bus driver at Hillcrest Elementary in Dublin. The school has set up a grief station at the media center of the school. The school district is advising parents to talk with their children and allow them to share their feelings about Wiggins' loss. So guys, as you can see, this woman here, um, Sheena Wiggins, uh, she was um, gunned down by her husband. They were going through a divorce. He not only set the house on fire, shot her, shot the 16 year old son but then took his own life this is happening over and over and over again and that is why women if you are in a situation where there's domestic violence this person may have never had violent tendencies nine times out of ten they do um, but if you are having to leave or going through a divorce you have to be very very careful these people are not these narcissists these sociopaths they are literally gunning down most high's children she was a power professional and a bus driver so it's a big loss for those children because she looks like she has such a beautiful smile look at her hallelujah oh my goodness it's so sad right and um he not only shot he shot the 16 year old and then took his own life and they were going through a a, a, a divorce and i know a lot of times back in the day people would divorce you know, split the proceeds from the home or what have you and move on. But now these men, mostly men, unfortunately, are for whatever reason in their head that the acts of lawlessness, that Jezebel spirit, you know, they become so desperate that they want to take your life because you don't want to have anything else to do with them. Look how beautiful of a smile she had. Fifty five. Let's look at the pictures. This is, these are the pictures of outside the house. Okay. Where they had the ambulance and stuff set up. Uh, they put up a, a yellow perimeter tape around the house. So you see the perimeter tape around the house. Lawrence County in Georgia. See them putting the tape up around the house. So the son got shot and he ran to the neighbor's house, which is not close by. And they were an elderly couple. They didn't open up the door right away. They called the sheriff and the sheriff came. He survived. So now he is going to be without his mom and his dad. He set the house ablaze. Okay. He literally set the house ablaze. So now he doesn't have a home to go back to. Look at this. So they're showing the pictures of outside the house and what the house looked like. So um, this is, I don't know what this is. Um, that looks like another house. Maybe that's the house, the next door neighbor's house that he ran to. I'm not sure. It doesn't tell you. Let's see. No, this says, it says Wiggins 13. Yeah, that, that is the house. So that might be the other side of the house, I guess. Yeah, I guess that must be the back side of the house, I suppose. Yeah. So this is the way the house looks. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the way the house looks. And um, that must be the back of it or something. I'm not sure. It must be the back of the house. That's what I'm thinking. This is the front. And then, you know, then this must be the back of the house and um, where they parked at and they put in a perimeter around the house. So, yeah, definitely, guys, this is a very sad situation. Um, she was a bus driver. It says here um, she had one child. Right. And um, this took place February 7th in Dublin, Georgia. Um, and these are some of her Facebook pictures. Um, and it, this is a tragic loss. But again, to let you see that leaving is one of the most um, dangerous times for a woman. If you're leaving a, a relationship, even if it is a marriage, these people get so desperate and that spirit comes over them. And they will stop at nothing. And so if you're able to plan and try to escape, that's what you have to do. Do not take it for granted. Oh, I know this person. They won't do anything to me. Some people wonder why I did some of the things I did when I was going through divorce. But it was a strategic thing because some of these people's brains don't 
function properly. And and when you say that you're going to leave, it's a narcissistic injury to them. So they fume and they fester and they'll do nothing. Um, and they'll leave no stone unturned to try to get back at you. And so at what stage she was in her divorce, I don't know. But definitely it was documented somewhere they were getting a divorce. And now this 16 year old child has to deal with not having a parent. And, um, you know, it was a murder suicide type of uh, situation. Um, and the teen actually did survive, which was her son. And so let's see, let me open this up here. 16, the 16 year old son was also shot pounding on the neighbor's door, um, for help. And she was a well-known powerful professional at Hillcrest elementary in Dublin. And this took place uh, at 2.30 in the morning. So this is just really, really um, sad. Um, and her husband, Sunoco, he took her life. But guys, this is just another example to show you that um, when you are leaving a situation, whether you're 20, 30, 40, 50, it doesn't matter. Be wise about the situation. Plan if this person is violent, call a domestic violence hotline. And try to strategically and secretly plan your exit. And even when you do exit, always look, uh, keep your head on swivel and don't underestimate these people. They, I don't know if they were still living together, if he was out of the house and came and did something to her, but it was 2.30 in the morning. So if any additional information comes up about this story, and I can find any additional information as to what was happening or was he living in a house or not. I will update you. Sometimes it takes a little bit of while, a little while for uh, family members to start speaking out and saying different things. Um, but I will try to update you and my condolences to her family, my condolences to her son. And guys, let's just pray for her um, and her family. But this is another beautiful soul taken by those evil uh, predators and narcissists, because you have to have not only one, you know, I'm a believer. Yes, that it is some sort of mental illness but I also believe that it is a spirit behind that mental illness that our society has given the diagnosis of narcissistic personality disorder or sociopath I believe that these are spirits behind that and these are spirits that um the dark side um or that evil spirit uh Lucifer has sent out to um take out uh the children of light that is my belief after going through these situations over the years and reading the scriptures, clearly, this is not a spirit that's new. These are familiar spirits. These are monitoring spirits. These are spirits that have been around for years and years and years in family bloodlines and for generations. And their goal is to take people out. You know, the goal of the enemy is to steal, kill and destroy. The goal of a narcissist, whether you want to believe it or not, guys, is to steal, to kill and destroy you. They do not love you and they never have. That's something that we have a hard time trying to wrap our hands around, but it's not. You could see in her eyes. A lot of times I, I look at the occupations and the jobs of a lot of the women um, who have been in um, domestic violence situations or with narcissists. And you, a lot of them are givers. They're um, bus drivers, power professionals, teachers, social workers, those professions where you serve and you give. And look how bright her eyes are. Look at that beautiful smile of hers. It's just really, really sad. Um, and so I'm coming to start giving you, showing you videos so that way we can get it in our heads that Yes, we need to do something and get out of these situations, but we have to do it the the best way we know how, the safest way we know how, the most strategic way we know how. Um, we need to be wise as, as um, serpents, right? We need to use our discernment because these individuals are, um, it's ramping up now and they are, are really taking individuals out, okay? And, um, you know, so this happened um, February 7th and... Um, um, yeah, this happened on February 7th. I'm sorry about that. I don't know why that's playing. 
Um, but yes, this happened February 7th. And, um, you know, she was, they have a grief counselor at the school because the children there know her as a paraprofessional and a bus driver. So not only did she drive the kids, she probably went back to school, got her education and became a para pro and went into the classroom. So my condolences to Sheena or Shina Wiggins, age 55. Um, she was going through a divorce. And if I get additional information on, um, this story, I will bring it to you. But in my mind, and in my opinion, it's the same thing, you know, abuse, you can't take it no more. You know, you may have been married to them for years, and you decide I, I just want to get out, I, I want to divorce this person, because I will never feel fulfill my purpose, and my potential. These individuals that get and come into the lives of, of individuals, their goal is to snuff out your light, you know, snuff out your purpose, your God ordained purpose here on this earth. That is their goal. Um, and so, you know, no matter what age, the, you know, if it's earlier, the better. But um, clearly, this woman here had a, a profession, she had a son, and it shows you that these people have no natural affection. They don't care about you. Because if you care about somebody, then go do yourself if that's what you're going to do but then he shot the child too so it shows you these people so if you're in your mind debating oh this person loves me no they don't they don't and so ladies if you are planning on trying to escape because you have to escape from these people call a domestic violence hotline get all your ducks in a row don't speak too much keep stuff to yourself don't talk to their family members about what you're going to do sometimes you just got to go ghost and just disappear and just leave their asses excuse my french i hate to say it lord forgive me and just leave their asses high dry and just disappear and leave them alone that's how you have to do it sometimes you can't tell you know the bible says don't let your right hand know what the left hand is doing some people you just can't say nothing you just got to go ghost on them so my condolences to um sheena higgins and her family um and like i said you know look at the picture beautiful woman says something baptist church it looks like macedonia baptist church on her shirt um so she was a believer hallelujah i'm just hoping look at the bright this i'm trying to tell you this woman was a believer this man was an abuser this didn't just start, okay? And she probably wanted to divorce him. Maybe he wasn't in the house and maybe he came to the house in the middle of the night. The only one that knows what was going on in that house is that child. And if more of the story comes out, I will give you an update on this. So, um, guys, uh, unfortunately, um, this is a domestic violence file on Shina uh, Wiggins. Um, and, um, my condolences to her family. Um, if you are, um, suffering from domestic violence, please call the domestic violence hotline. I keep the number in the description box, um, on all videos, um, and, um, seek help, um, and, and reach out. So that way you can successfully, um, you and your children, if you do have children, um, these, this is a matter of life and death in this end time that we're living in. So don't take it lightly. Oh, he's never done this. Oh, he's never done that. You don't know what a person will do when you decide that you no longer want them in your life, that you want to divorce them. Call the domestic violence hotline. All right, y'all. Um, this is Can We Talk with Monique? And I will see you on the next upload. Peace.